gotta stay on time. Hey, Bert! You think they'll get here soon? You bet. They should be here any minute now. Timmy, Bert was nice enough to order them from Planet Duriad. I haven't heard a thank you. Thanks a lot, Bert. I can't wait to taste them. Last time I had a Mangurian, I was your age. I never heard of a Mangurian. They're ultra delicious, Rick. They're a special hybrid of the galaxy's most exotic fruits. That's why they're so good. Bert, got your Mangurians right here. Thanks a lot, Roger. Hey, where's Drac? He's back at customs checking our cargo. He was kind of busy and I wanted to make sure I got here on time. You know I'm always on time. Hey, Mom, that's the famous Roger Buster. It is now 2201. Radical advances in transportation technology have transformed the world. Interplanetary travel has put mankind in touch with new planets, new life forms, new dangers. And a thrilling new sport grips the galaxy, fueled by fans across the universe and driven by the need for speed. Somebody's paging me. I hope they don't want me to go through customs again. Well, here's my first Mangurian. Real tasty. That's because they're fresh. Just picked yesterday. I can believe it. The word going around the F-Zero circuit is that you and your purple pal Drac are the fastest space transporters in the whole galaxy. And the toughest. Roger? Could you autograph this, please? It'll cost you. Sorry, but after I win the Polestar Grand Prix tomorrow, I'll be so famous people will pay for my autograph. So I can't afford to scribble them out for free anymore. Well, I can pay when I get my allowance. <laughs> I'm pulling your leg, kid. So, you gonna compete in the Polestar Grand Prix, Wheeler? Yeah, I'm gonna be there. That's too bad, because I'm afraid I'm gonna have to stop your winning streak. All right. If you can keep pirates from attacking our transport, we have a deal. But you'd better win that race, Drac. I can't stand a loser. I'll do my best. <laughs> do not fail me. <laughs> So, kid, how come you're hanging around a place like the Falcon House? Isn't this a school day? Tim doesn't go to school. He has to study at home. I guess it must be tough being away from your friends all the time. But your mom says you're getting stronger every day. That's true. The medicine you brought from Planet Clytons made Tim feel a lot stronger. Rick told me there's a new operation the doctors can do that can totally cure Timmy. They say he has an excellent chance of recovery if he has the operation soon. But Timmy still hasn't agreed to go through with it yet. Please, Mom. I don't want to have an operation. It could make you well again, Tim. I don't care. Your mom just wants you to get better. You should trust her. Even though you might be scared. Who says I'm scared? Okay, then why don't you and I make a deal? Deal? If I promise to win the Polestar Grand Prix just for you, will you promise to go have that operation? I'm not sure I can make that promise. Make it. You gotta be able to take some risks. If you wanna be an F-Zero racer. Okay, if you win, I'll do it. Wonderful. Then let's shake and make it official. There's just one little problem. I'm gonna be in that race too. 
and I'm the one who's gonna win it. Roger. Timbo, how about you make the same promise if I win? <sighs> sure. Okay. And to sweeten the deal, on my next trip here, I'll bring you back a whole basket of Mangurians. Promise? If you eat them after your operation, they'll help make you stronger. You see, Mangurians not only taste great, but they're good for you. So eat all you can. Sure I will. Thanks, Roger. Hey, Roger, can you bring a couple back for me? <laughs> <laughs> Time to kick off the post on Grand Prix! We have an impressive lineup of pilots today ready to give their all. This is sure to be one of the most exciting and hard-fought races of the season. Nobody's gonna beat me today. I won't let you down, Tim. If I don't win this race, Roger and I are finished. I have to do whatever it takes to win. Tim, but I'm sure they'll both do their very best because they're doing it for you. The mighty hurricane maintains a slim lead going into the sun. Buster hits a boost plate on the sidewalk and then hits another one. Wheeler won't catch me. Roger's good, but we still have nine laps to go. I'm just getting warmed up. Easy there. That spinning's making me dizzy. We don't need more turns. This track's got plenty. Roger Buster still leads the field as he aims for and hits one boost plate! And then a second! Now Rick Wheeler will try to do the same. He hits the first plate. And he's done it! Listen to these F Zero fans as the machines roar to the stadium to complete lap one! If I keep up my speed through the turns, the other machines will never catch me. just received something. You all better listen carefully and do exactly as I tell you. We've attached devices that will blow up every machine in this race that goes above Orange 9. Any machine that goes below Orange 5 will likewise be destroyed. Now 
then. We want 10 billion credits in one hour. If we get them, we'll deactivate the explosives. If we don't, we'll blow every last machine to smithereens. This is a hoax. You can't trust anything, Zoda says. If it isn't a hoax, is there a way we could give him what he's asked for? It would be impossible for us to pull 10 billion credits in an hour even if we wanted to. And frankly, it would be a major mistake. Contact all the pilots immediately. Make sure they understand the threat. Alert the Galaxy Police. We'll let them handle this. Yes, sir. Attention all pilots. We've just been informed that your machines may be carrying explosive devices. We've been warned that these devices will detonate unless you constantly maintain your speed between Orange 5 and Orange 9. Repeat, these devices will detonate unless you constantly maintain your speed between Orange 5 and Orange 9. That's crazy. <laughs> this should be interesting. Adjust your speed immediately. We've informed the Galaxy Police, and they're investigating. What's going on here? Suddenly all the machines are going at the same speed! I thought this was supposed to be a race! It must be Zoda. We're all stuck here. I just hope Tanaka can handle this by himself. I can't handle this by myself. This is a crisis, a big crisis, and I don't do crisis. That's Jody's job. People's lives are on the line, Dr. Stewart. If they blow up, I'll get fired. <laughs> Stop thinking about yourself, Tanaka, and start thinking about a plan. You're wasting valuable time. I don't think very well when I'm under pressure, but in officer training, they taught us to delegate responsibility. Why don't you think of something? Zoda is threatening to set off the devices and blow up the machine, so there must be a detonator near the track. We have to find it fast. Right. Let's give it a try. I find nine devices attached to machines. But analysis cannot detect if they are real or fake. The Gator Racer just exploded! Luckily, the driver ejected. Huh? Zoda wasn't bluffing. We've got to do something fast. Attention, Mobile Task Force members! The devices are real, so keep speed between Orange 5 and Orange 9, or detonators will go off! All right. We'll stay within the limits and try to figure this thing out. Roger. Hey, Clash, isn't there a way you could zap them so they wouldn't explode? Maybe, yes, but it's too risky to try. Jody. I say we go after Zoda. We can't do that, Jack. We can't risk it. Just maintain your speed until we get word from headquarters. Sorry, but I can't do that. I have to win this one for Tim. Rick, what are you doing? You have to watch your speed. Rick, slow down. Rick! I have to win this. Roger, you're going too fast. It's too dangerous. Your machine might explode, but mine won't. Let me win. Please, Roger, or we'll both be sorry. You'd better win that race, or I'll have pirates waiting for you at every spaceport. They'll hijack your transports until they drive you and your partner out of business. Win that prize money for me, or you'll lose everything. Sorry, Roger, but I have to do this. Typhoon pulled into the lead, but the Dragon Bird and the Mighty Hurricane are battling back. This race is turning into a real nail biter. Drac, what are you doing? I told you about the promise me and Wheeler made to that kid. I can't tell you why, but you have to let me win. Listen to me, Drac. Nothing's more important than saving Tim. Now pull back. You have to trust me on this one, Roger. Stay out of my way. <laughs> Can't give up, buddy. I have to 
catch up. Rick, you're getting close to Orange Knight. Pull back. Gotta take the risk. It doesn't get any closer than this. Come on, guys. Go, Rick. Go, Rogers. I'll lead by the remain locked in a three-way struggle as they streak toward the finish line! You're up to, Drac, but whatever it is isn't gonna make me break the promise I made. I won't back down. You don't know what you're doing. You know me, Drac. I gave that kid my word and nothing will stop me. Don't try interfering or you'll regret it. If I don't win, we'll both regret it, my friend. Slow down! Your machine will blow up! Forget it, Drac! I already told you I made a promise to win this race, and that's what I'm gonna do! for this later. Oh, great! I can't believe this! <laughs> Roger. Let's go! I'm with you, pal. Rick, this is crazy! <laughs> the machines approach the finish line! And Rick Wheeler wins! Roger Buster and the Mighty Hurricane comes in second! Rick kept his promise! You should be. You must be crazy to make a deal like that with Luna Ryder. I'm not. I'm just weak. Well, I'm glad you're all right and that you won the prize money. But you disobeyed orders again. I'm putting you on probation. I know you've got to do that, Jody. I guess that other machine just blew up on its own. The whole thing must have been a bad joke. That's possible. It's hard to know exactly how Zoda's twisted mind works. We may never know what happened out there today. Actually, Jody, I know for sure it was no hoax. What do you mean, Clash? How? I got the proof. This was on Dragonbird. It's real. <laughs> Good luck.